What's going on, you glorious bastards? My name is Fox Soul, and welcome back to another video on Lords of the Fallen. This video is much delayed because this came out four days ago, and we already did the entire Way of the Bucket quest and everything else for version 1.1348. But I want to go through the updates because after getting to run the game again, play through it, do the quest line. I got a couple of personal opinions about this newest update and can't wait to see what happens with the next weekly update on this game. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, first of all, I, we're reading this on Reddit because in all honesty, uh, this is the way they linked it to. So we're just going to see. They give you the typical greeting here, like greeting lamp bearers. The way of the bucket and ancient martial arts, an extraordinary time honor ritual, or just one of man's uncommitments of the humble. It, it, it's a tedious fucking quest line. It's so fucking tedious. And I, some people say, oh, the bucket is OP and such. I don't think it's OP at all. I think, honestly, it completely sucks personally. Oh, you don't have the right build or whatever. Well, my build is actually full fucking blown. Level 26,000, it still sucks. But they added new spell pack. They added fall prevention when attacking. They improved matchmaking and they, the umbral ending fix. Oh boy, the umbral ending fix. Let's go through all this. Way of the bucket, like similar to the Halloween events, Season of the Bleak, which honestly, Season of the Bleak was actually a decent, decent little event. It was pretty good. Go and get the stick must. There's only five of them. And this one right here, oh boy. First and foremost, I'm going to be completely 100% honest. If you're going to go ahead and do a quest line, this right here is complete garbage. Seek guidance to the words below. When time comes, do or die, they emerge from their throes. The emergent provision. Oh my God. Salute a test and once more show. Can we not have these? quest lines you know riddles or whatever inside the game because i'm gonna be honest with you not everybody reads the patch notes and especially a newcomer who comes into the game who just buys the game and such you need to put in the game itself a little bit more awareness some more, some more clarity about your quest lines so that way people can actually you know do it if you're gonna up if you're gonna install more quest lines. I, like I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say this, but like legitimately, this was a complete clusterfuck to me of an entire fucking event because in the game itself, it don't tell you anything. In the game itself, there's no real hints or clues. All I know, all you know is, is that you see a bucket or you have to fight a mini a mini boss basically, and then oh. Bucket man comes to help save the fucking day or he's aggro to you because you got more than four fucking buckets. You got the fifth bucket, but it doesn't tell you that if you got the fifth fucking bucket, that you can't turn it in and you basically fucked your quest. And you got to redo it all over again. It was completely tedious. It took us three or four different characters just to figure out different things in order to get all of the items and buckets, 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 buckets. It was this is not how you do a quest. I am so fucking sorry. Um, especially one that you are bringing in for free for DLC purposes because your game sucks. I'm sorry. This is not what you are. You should be doing. I, the quest line was very tedious. You basically you got to go kill every non major boss. All the mini bosses that basically turn into regular enemies. You got to kill them four at a time. After you kill them four at a time, you got to collect the buckets after them. Once you collect the buckets, you bring it into the fucking bucket guy to collect your first set of armor, which is defeat. You bring, you go kill another four. You go grab the next set, which is the which is the uh, head. You go kill the last set. You go ahead. Now you got the weapon. And then doing the entire fucking emote crap in front of him, like some people have luck going ahead and doing, you know, point up, point down, salute, doing three different emotes and they were able to unlock it. 
for me, I guess I was bugged at the time or something because it took me to do every fucking emote uh, in my entire fucking gestures list in order just to make him react. So that way we could start the quest. When it comes to the new spells, I'll be honest with you, I have not done any kind of farming and legitimately for new spells, we should not have to go farm them. Okay. Personal opinion here, you should have a new NPC that we could go ahead and if we're going to farm, we need to farm whatever to provide to, to this seller to buy the spells. Let me go buy more vigor, you know, let me go go get more vigor. Let me go farm different enemies. But from what I've been told in the stream, maybe it's completely wrong to some people, but from what I've been told in the stream, every single one of these spells pretty much suck. Because we start trying to farm them, and it's like, dude, you really don't need that. It's not as good as what this already in the game. And if that's the case, I really can't give you a true opinion on it, but if that is actually the case and these spells actually suck, wow, you really, you really outdid yourself. Because PvP is still fucking broken. All right, let's get to the actual main guts of all this before we talk more about the bucket quest line and everything else. Core gameplay improvements. With this patch, we begin attacking animations away from the ledge. So now you no longer fall off and the attack animation draws you to the edge of said platform. However, you start attacking animation when already standing at the edge, you will fall. Okay. I don't think that the first one was a big fucking deal. I think that, you know, it just stops people from having to fucking mash. If you mash a little bit too hard, guess what? You're going to fall off the edge. Why the fuck we cater into that? I don't fucking know, but okay, whatever. Improve matchmaking. We've updated the matchmaking selection process, giving priority to ping while performing additional checks to the connection of both ends. This may slightly increase matchmaking time, but it ensures higher quality connection. With this being stated, I'm not sure if this affects co-op because co-op, we really didn't have an issue. But PvP, there is several people, and I mean several. There was like 13 people or so that was all trying to do PvP. And I'm not sure if it's gotten any better since then. But when this first patch came out, nobody was able to connect into PvP. We had people in our lobby trying to connect to each other through PvP. And it was not working for them so yeah a slight increase in matchmaking time that's not what we need what we actually need is a legitimate you know rework of the entire network on this game because legitimately it, we got a i got a problem with the internet on this game i got a problem with the net with ever net code or whatever they're using because as the host of a game if i invite someone into my world the entire umbral world around me starts to actually freeze up the frame rate and stuff like this in certain locations it actually bogs down my system to where it only happens because it only happens when i summon someone into my world if i don't summon someone into my world and i do it by myself when we did a complete run the night before last as john wick with my john wick character no flaws, no issues. The game actually ran very smooth. It ran perfect. But the moment you try to invite someone in your world to come run with you so that way they can get the uh, Purify coin, oh my fuck God, the fucking Umbral world was a fucking disaster. I'm missing jumps left and right. I'm having issues left and right because of performance issues because of this reason. So please work on the net coding in some way shape form fuck the goddamn other shit and if you're gonna if that's the case if you're gonna be bothering with quest lines or everything this is something that if i want to invite a friend or something please fix the net code really just look at it umbro ending for players who previously encountered an issue with umbro ending preventing them from completing the game we have positive news this week we've implemented additional checks to address other Another edge case allowing you to proceed after being blocked. So now when you load into the game, you should be able to directly access the ending. Uh, we appreciate Finn for sharing his save and helps identify and resolve the matter. While I believe all outstanding issues have been addressed, please don't hesitate. Okay. One of the biggest issues you still got with the Umber ending, it still crashes. It happened to me last night. You still got crashes. Like after I read this, I was like, oh, okay, it still is work. It 
on PlayStation 5 copy of this game, and I heard it also happens on Xbox, but on the PS5 version, I could testify to this. You still haven't fully fixed the Umber ending. I have to do a whole bunch of fucking ritual bullshit in order just to go through it. I have to do certain th- actions in order to make sure that my Umber ending doesn't crash. And then it's still a 50 50 shot if it's going to crash or not. I've had it crash on the platform, I had it crash on the cutscene. Right when we're doing, you know, the ending, I've had it crash in multiple locations. I've had people come in that's telling me that they're still getting frozen in some cases at the actual last cutscene. Some people have got fixed. Some people haven't. The Umbro ending, there's still stuff wrong with it. We're coming up to month two on this. Why is Umbro ending still not been looked at properly and resolved? I do not know. I mean, to me, you should actually rework that in ending if that's the case. You should make it to where the platform is a staircase if that's the fucking case. You know, like, you gotta go do all the seat the, the, the seat pods and everything, and it opens up, you know, an invisible staircase that goes there, so that way you don't have to do the platform bullshit. Something. Something to prevent it from even crashing would be great. Auto save stuttering. We know that some players are experiencing. We please note we're working too hard to resolve this thing. Oh boy. Okay, so they're working on that. Xbox uh, offset HUD ongoing. We are aware that the HUD display on the Xbox is currently offset, and we're actively working on a fix. We greatly appreciate your patience on this matter. We hope to update you. Sure. Why is it offset? Like okay, if if anybody's got an Xbox version of this game, please let me know. Uh, Can you send me a screenshot of whatever the fuck this offset head uh, HUD is? Like what's going on here? Because how are you going from PC port to console ports and it's offset? And why is it not been updated? Because then if this is the case, this has been like this for a little while. This should have been like you know an instant fix. But okay, whatever. Y'all do what y'all want to fucking do, right? Add additional pre-calculated PSOs for further reduced micro stuttering throughout the game world. Remove. I, I gotta say, performance-wise, performance-wise, it has gotten a lot better. Okay, for single player, it has gotten a lot player. It has gotten a lot better. When you invite someone to co-op, it is shit. But if you do it by yourself, it's actually. It runs damn good now, especially on PS5. It runs pretty damn good. I, I gotta give them, I gotta give them kudos on that one at least. Uh, it's it's been doing a lot better. I, the John Wick run, I, I can't, I can't fault it. There is a couple of things that they did nerf in the thing, which kind of upset me, and I'll discuss that later. AI increased scar shell sense to ensure it acquires the player as the target, even in case edges where it spawns far away from the player. Okay, whatever. Uh, Link the Ruiner to leash and volume to prevent him from leaving the intended encounter area and lower thing. Okay, add additional collisions with enemies spawn the floor. Fix a missed nav hole when one spot the pig and purge. Prove AI. Fix AI. Blah 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 blah. blah. Fix Tetris NPCs now saying different things when defeating the player. Still obnoxious, but with style. Okay, who gives a crap about that? Like, this to me is not AI. You're you're, you're random generation, but okay, whatever. Collisions, do 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 do. Who gives a crap about any of this? Uh, visual improved player character turning animation, turning at a very slow speed, add a missing base to one of the statues in Abbey Hollow Sisters, and improve uh spectacular and, and brightness for several weapons and armor set. Okay, whoop de do. I haven't really seen anything visually improved, but okay, whatever. Whatever. So one thing that I could tell you in this patch that's not mentioned in this patch that we noticed, well, I noticed and that I had to show this, is when you go ahead and you're going to fifth and you're going to go fight, you're going towards the hollow crow to go into that area to go fight him as a boss. There's a cave area over a cliff that you, you got you go into. And then there's a spot there where basically, you know, an ice fucking pillar or whatever falls on top of you and can kill you well i'm not sure new game plus one or plus two or anything like that, but in plus zero when we did the new character run we ran in that in that cave area and that damn thing didn't fall on us it wasn't there 
And I was kind of like, what the fuck? Did they remove this? Why would they remove this? Doing some testing. Come to find out. What they did is if you're at Umbro, it doesn't fall on you no more. But if you're out of Umbro, it falls on you. So for there was must have been some player on Reddit here that must have gotten upset that they've, you know, got killed and had to be backtracked all the way to the beginning. And because it used to be one of things where even in Umbro, you go run to it. You have to run back for a second. So that way the pillar falls. And the only issue I had with it is that the hitbox is way too fucking long. Because, okay, it falls on the ground, dust collects up, the snow dust collects up, you go run to it, and then you can still pit, basically get one shot KO'd right there from doing that. But it didn't matter if I was an umbral, didn't matter if I was living, it would always fall. Now, it only falls if you're in the living world, not umbral world, and it makes absolutely no sense to me. None at all. It's stupid um i have some problems with this game and one of the biggest problems i have with this game seriously is i don't think the devs understand anymore what they're trying to cater to are they trying to cater to the casual market or they're trying to cater to the souls player because reason being here is is that you're in a lot of cases you're making the game way too fucking easy a lot of cases you're making the game way too fucking difficult in terms of artificial inflation what is this game i have no idea it's like it's a bipolar mess and as much as i love this game and as much as i want to play this game and as much as i do play this game i have over fucking 800 hours in this game bro I don't understand just what's going on here. Hopefully they'll work on some more stuff on this game, but hey, it is what it is. Now, I will just go ahead and say, because I haven't updated this list right here much either, but I would like to go ahead and thank, because tonight was been a weird night. We have now over 34 members on the channel. I excuse me, 35. I do not understand why we've collected several new emotes that we put on there. That's all souls and, e um, and, uh, Elden ring related sooner or later. We'll do something with possibly Lords of the fallen, but thanks to everyone. This list, I need to update it and put all y'all into it, but I'm, I'm going to say, I appreciate all the gift subs. I appreciate all the subs that's coming in, you know, all the, uh, or excuse me, not subs, but members. And all the members coming in. We are also at over 4,500 subscribers, which is honestly completely outrageous to me. It is completely outrageous. So apparently either I'm doing something right or you guys are just here for the fucking entertainment. So <laughs> in any case scenario, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope to do more here soon enough. I hope to really talk to y'all. Be note, just note real quick. We do do live streams on this channel. And feel free to come by. Um, I like to discuss another in another video I'm going to be recording here soon. We're going to be discussing what happened with our event, uh, community event, and how it went. What were some of the problems, and what we're going to do to to fix it. So, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys, and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.